what's this we have simmering away here? Well, it's a non-Newtonian fluid. And it's alive! Hi, welcome to Hack a Week and the new shop setup. That's right, uh, it's official. I'm now living in a new house with my sweetie Lisa. We've moved in together, it's all good. And I've got a great place here to set up a workshop, about 170 square feet of room. It's pretty nice, you can see the old workbench there behind me. Moved it from the previous location and have it all set up there. Got a couple of computers going. I moved the desktop computer in here, so that's kind of nice. Got the uh, fabrication bench behind me there. That's all set up, ready to go. Drill press on there, tools hanging up. I've still got some things to unpack here. Um, didn't quite get all of it done today, but got a pretty good dent in it. And Sophie and Fritz are in here, curled up in the corner on a carpet. So let's uh, get started with this non-Newtonian fluid thing that you saw at the beginning of the video here. This should be a lot of fun. So here's the stuff we're going to mix up the oobleck with today. That's what this is called, oobleck. You've probably seen other videos and things where people take cornstarch and do some fun things with them on subwoofers and speakers and other experiments. But oobleck is basically cornstarch and water. It's mixed in a ratio of one part water to 1.5 to 2 parts of cornstarch. And this makes a non-Newtonian fluid. What's a non-Newtonian fluid, you ask? Good question! It is a fluid that acts sometimes like a solid, sometimes like a fluid. The relation between the shear stress and the shear rate is different, and it can even be time dependent. So last year at Maker Faire, uh, North Carolina, I saw them set up a thing where they had a great big vat of water and cornstarch mixed up. And if you ran across it really fast, you could walk right across, but if you stood on it, you would slowly sink down into the oobleck. And if you tried to pull your foot out really fast, you couldn't pull your foot out. But if you pulled it out really slow, you could pull it out because over time, you're allowing all the particulates to move past each other. So the viscosity of a non-Newtonian fluid can change dependent upon the force applied to it. So that's why when you put it on a speaker like a subwoofer and apply different frequencies to it, it does some really crazy looking stuff. And that's what we're about to do right now. With this setup right here, I've got a powered speaker subwoofer. Okay, let's mix up some oobleck. I have a graduated plastic beaker here. It's graduated because it went to school? No, because it has graduations of measurements on them. So let's put four ounces of water and then we'll fill it up to about uh, here with cornstarch or here. And we'll see how our mix is. Mixing up the oobleck. Okay, there's four ounces of water. Open up some cornstarch. Yeah, I think so. Whoa! I couldn't believe how much cornstarch they used when I saw this at Maker Faire where they made the big vat. They had a van and they were just like pulling out boxes and boxes and boxes of cornstarch and mixing forever and ever. It was pretty crazy looking. Well, now it's starting to thicken up. This is weird stuff when you mix it too because it behaves like a non-Newtonian fluid. If you stir it really fast, it wants to thicken up. It's uh, some strange fun stuff. This is um, kind of the beginning of uh, the type of hacks I want to do more of. I want to do more stuff that has to do with like chemistry and strange things like this. Wow, this got real thick really quick. I can't even do anything with it anymore. <laughs> it's really goofy. It's slowly, slowly mixing together. I think you can see here what's going on. If I move the fork through it real slow, it's easy. But if I try to go fast, it's hard. It's really strange. It's kind of like that scene from Dune where the guy stabs him through the shield with a slow blade. Yeah, it's kind of like that. So this is going to take me a little while to get this mixed just right. So I'll save you all the trouble of watching me do that and we'll jump ahead to when it's all mixed. 
to the magic of video editing. Okay, the oobleck is finally mixed up. This is some really weird stuff to work with. It looks like, you know, it flows when I do that, but when I really stir hard in the bottom, it's like squeaky and feels really thick. It's strange stuff. So when you mix this up, um, as you can see on the bench here, I think, I made a little mess. And trying to clean it up is really weird because when you try to rub on it with like a rag or something, it just gets thick and it won't absorb into the rag. It's really strange. So do it somewhere where if you make a mess, it's not going to hurt anything. Okay, I've got this all mixed up. So here's a quick demonstration of uh, what a non-Newtonian fluid behaves like. So when it, it has a lot of force, it, it behaves a lot like a solid. So when a lot of force is applied to it, it's as if it's solid. I'm going to drop this screwdriver handle in and you'll see just what I mean. It slowly sinks in, but initially it bounces back off the fluid. See, if I go really hard and try to stab it in there, it, it doesn't want to go. But if I push it in really slow, it's like a liquid. Crazy stuff. Okay, this is, this is weird. When you pour this, watch what happens when I pour it. Watch how it pours. <laughs> it's really strange. It kind of does this weird bendy thing in the air as it pours. Pretty goofy. Okay, I have lined my speaker with some clear plastic wrap. Let's pour in a little bit of the oobleck. Whoa, that's more than a little bit. That's quite a bit. I think that's maybe even a little too much, but we'll see. All right, let's uh, get access to this volume control. Turn on the sine wave. See what happens here. wild. Okay, I can see already I need to tape the cellophane clear plastic wrap stuff in place. Okay, I've secured the clear plastic wrap. Much better setup. I have a 40 hertz sine wave up and running and I've got a side light now so we get a little better contrast. Let's turn it up and watch the oobleck come to life. Wow, that's pretty wild. Let's try a, a square wave just for the heck of it. I don't know if we can even get anything out of it because Amplitude of the square wave is not enough. How about a triangle wave? It seems to respond about the same. This is a sawtooth wave. different. Looks like something trying to crawl out of there. And how about just pink noise? Straight up nasty pink noise. Not quite enough to really do anything. Let's go back to the sine wave. And let's increase the frequency now. Let's go up to uh, 80 hertz instead of 40. Let's try 80. Stuff starts to fly all over the place at 80, <laughs> splattering all over my workbench. 
So let's go back below 40. Let's try uh, let's try a 30 hertz sine wave. Let's do that and add a drop of food coloring just to watch how it propagates through the whole thing. Get back in there, Ublik. My oobleck is escaping. <laughs> this stuff is fun. This would be a really fun project to do with your kids. I can just hear kids cracking up and laughing over this stuff. turns back to a liquid. And as soon as we apply some force, it starts to behave strangely. So you really need a really powerful amplifier for this. Uh, these are Yamaha powered speakers. I'm not sure what they're rated at in watts, but I know they're really, really up there. Uh, if I was to guess, I'd say these are at least 40 watt. Uh, internally amplified speakers. So you need some power behind this. And of course a big, bigger cone subwoofer would probably uh, give you a little bit more dramatic results. That's just crazy, man. So there you have it, a non-Newtonian fluid behaving in really strange ways. When you apply a force, it acts like a solid. When there's no force, it acts like a liquid. So if I move through it very slowly, it's very liquid-like. But if you try to move fast, it acts like a solid. A lot of fun. Enjoy doing this at home, and until next time, Keep on hacking. It's out of control!